So the uh, G.I. Joe Classified Series Wave 2, uh, something that I really haven't talked much about yet. Uh, I did like a photo preview type thing. I'm not going to open these figures up because I don't have any to keep sealed as of yet. I'm still waiting, still waiting months later for one of the pre-orders that I put in. Uh, I had actually forgotten that I pre-ordered these through a uh, independent store near me and uh, got a call to come and, or got a message to come and pick them up and talk to the guy and whatnot. And I was able to go grab these. Um, availability on these figures is absolutely terrible. Uh, you can find them on eBay, usually at inflated prices, like the Red Ninja. This figure is uh, actively selling on eBay for around 40 bucks. That's twice retail. And they're supposed to be available, but Hasbro seemingly uh, has not done a good job with their distribution on these figures at all. Um, we'll cover that first. Today, I went out looking for uh, some G.I. Joe retro figures and some Transformer stuff that's supposed to be out in my area. And, um, you know, here we are less than three weeks away from Christmas. And I went to seven different Walmart stores. Mind you, none of these stores, uh, except for the one here in my town, are less than 30 minutes away from me. It takes me 30 minutes at least to, to drive to another Walmart. And uh, I went to seven different stores. Not a single classified figure on the shelf. Nothing from Wave 1, Wave 2, or uh, Wave 3 that's supposed to be coming out. Of course, that's not going to be on the shelves. But these should be everywhere. Hasbro should be pumping these out because people want them. People are buying them. They're not shelf warmers. Uh, they're, they're figures that are actually selling. And I don't understand why. I don't know if it's uh, something with Hasbro's uh, production facilities not being able to fulfill not being able to fulfill orders. Uh, I've seen where people, of course, everyone's experiencing this whole thing where Amazon's canceling their pre-orders and whatnot. Walmart's canceling pre-orders for anything and everything, and they're just not carrying the product that uh, that people seem to want. So it's just. Uh, it's a really weird time. These figures are coming out. They're supposed to be available, but they're not. And, um, you know, a lot of people are being forced into the secondary market uh, to purchase these at a slightly higher than retail price. Well, if they're not available at retail and you really want them, I guess that's probably the route that you'll have to go. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look at each one of these figures and break everything down. There's also a fourth figure in Wave two this was available it was supposed to be a, uh, a comic con exclusive but he was available on hasbro pulse for a limited time to pre-order <gasps> the profit director destro yeah this figure is absolutely uh it's obnoxious it's hideous and i love every bit of it except for the artwork i hate that style of artwork uh the figure is just it's it's ridiculous and cool. Uh, I do not regret getting this. I've got a couple of them, and I've got another one on the way from another pre-order. And I'll probably end up, yeah, giving one away, selling one. I don't know. If, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, I don't need three of them. I only need one. And uh, but you know, this the profit director Destro is just absolutely ridiculous. It's more so ridiculous in person than what it was in the promo photos. And, of course, this is basically a repaint of the Wave 1 Destro with a few additional accessories. The, uh, the, the sunglasses, the money to burn, and the cheat or leopard print uh, cape. <laughs> you know, I mean, just look at, the, uh, look at the outfit this guy's wearing. I mean, it's absolutely just, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. So, anyway, we'll, we'll take a look at him. Uh, again here in a minute. Uh, let's talk about Gung Ho. One of the things that I see people uh, mainly complaining about, and yet imagine that, somebody in the G.I. Joe community complaining about something coming out. Uh, <laughs> I, I've done my fair share of complaining about some of the things, but I mean, you know, it's it, there's, there's new product coming out, and that's what's really important, and a lot of people are losing sight of that. But uh, the 6-inch collection... Uh, seeing as how it's brought in collectors from uh, the 
six inch Star Wars line and from the Marvel Legends line. Uh, you know, it's breathing new life into GI Joe and that's all in all, that's really what we, what we should want as uh, G.I. Joe fans and collectors. So with Wave 2, with the Gung Ho figure, I think that they did a great job as far as the um, the paint scheme and everything goes. It's a little bit toned down from some of the figures in the Wave 1. A lot of, uh, a lot of comments were made about the metallic uh, paint apps on those figures, which I actually like those. I think it added more of a, a sci-fi element to the figures. And uh, the sci-fi element of G.I. Joe is one of the things that I always really enjoyed. Uh, as you all know, Gung Ho is classically a Marine. And he had the Marine Globe and Eagle tattooed on his chest. This figure does not have that. He still has a tattoo on his chest, but it's more along the lines of like a dragon or a phoenix uh, type thing. Um, it's still the Roman-esque Eagle. Uh, a lot of people have, <laughs> well, I uh, let me back up for just a second. Not a lot of people. I've seen a few ridiculous people, uh, almost as ridiculous as the uh, <laughs> prophet director Destro, claim that this new chest tattoo looks like a Nazi emblem. And it is far from. It, it's, it does not look like a Waffen Eagle. Uh, if any, you know, if, if anything... The eagle on his chest is derived from many, many different, uh, as was the Nazi uh, Waffen Eagle, uh, derived from many, many different um, uh, eagle emblems that have been used as uh, heraldry throughout history by many, many different empires and societies. Uh, this is not the same thing. This is just uh, a, 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 an eagle on his chest of swords. Uh, the hat, the cover, people say that this is not a marine cover, which it doesn't look exactly like the original Gung Ho figure. This all leads me to believe this Gung Ho is not a marine. Now, we don't have any uh, real backstory or anything to these figures because, of course, none of them have a file card or anything of the such on the back of the card. You have to go onto the G.I. Joe website to read anything about the figures, but you do have uh, the little emblems here on the side that are supposed to designate like different uh, specialties and whatnot. Uh, so they, they're, you know, that's a good thing and a bad thing. I think that they should have a file card, but I do think that it's cool that it's, uh, kind of pushing people to be more interactive with the website to get a background on these figures, on the characters. Uh, they did a, a pretty good job with the camo and whatnot on the pants, as you can see there. Uh, nice accessories. He has this, uh, drop leg web gear here with the explosives or smoke grenades. He comes with three uh, blasters, which we've talked about that a little bit as well. These are uh, Nerf blasters, or at least one of them is. This is uh, this here, this piece here, the, the launcher. Uh, that's reminiscent of um, something that, a, that the original Gung Ho figure would have come with. Reminiscent of, it's not the same thing. Yes, I know the difference. And uh, But the backpack has uh, storage capabilities. The little uh, clips here on the sides for the guns. He can hold one of them and carry two of them with him. I really like the fact that they're doing that with these figures. I think it's fantastic. The vest is a little bit different. You can see here in the corner, he has the comm link on the shoulder. Uh, the vest does not look like the original. That seems to be the biggest complaint about any of this stuff that I see coming from uh, fans and whatnot of G.I. Joe is that these figures don't look exactly like what we had as kids. Yeah, that's that's kind of the kind of the idea to to reinvent it, to remake it, make something new, and use characters that we can all still connect with and they'll they'll expand their customer base. I get it. I get the point of it. Um through uh the action force maker, Bob Vivala, and uh Big Bad Toy Store, you can actually order a production vest and hat that look more like the uh, vest, hat, and backpack. Sorry about that. Uh, that look more like the original Gung Ho if you wanted to dress this guy up uh, to look more like the original. Also, you can remove the tattoo on his chest. I believe people are using Magic Eraser to remove that uh, tampo from the chest and Bad Mother Tattoos. 
they offer a water slide decal of the original Marine logo. And you can straight up make this guy look like the original Gung Ho, uh, as far as the vest, backpack, and, and cover go. Uh, all those items are available on uh, Big Bad Toy Store for pre-order, and uh, they're being made by uh, uh, Action Force. So, moving on to Cobra Commander with his weird time travel-esque musket pistol. The flintlock weird thing that he comes with here. This uh, this pistol is so strange, and I pointed that out in one of the um, one of the photo preview videos that I did. And it it's like a <laughs> it still it looks like a a flintlock musket with some kind of weird bayonet attachment to it. Snake carved into it. It's very ornate. Uh, this is you know I've I've referred to this guy as the pirate or time traveler or Napoleonic Cobra Commander, and uh, he's he's cool. He looks good. I really like. The, uh, the paint apps and the color. I think that he looks fantastic. As a matter of fact, the color of this figure matches very well with the Target exclusive Cobra Island Trooper and with the Cobra uh, Trooper that we're getting with Wave 3 of the Classified series. And the colors look great. I have some of the Regal Cobra Commanders coming, the uh, Pulse exclusive Regal Cobra Commanders. Same mold, but he's in a light blue color that matches more along the lines of uh, the original uh, 82 Cobra Commander. But he still has this this very ornate pirate-looking outfit that he's wearing, or the uh, the Napoleonic, or what, whatever you want to view that as being. And this one, uh, he comes with a couple of extra hands, and that's something that we've seen with the uh, Deluxe Edition Snake Eyes, a Pulse exclusive. I don't think any of the other figures have come with extra hands for posing, but um, all in all, he's a very, uh, very good looking figure. Now, for the Red Ninja, one of the things that I talked about with the photo preview video, the Red Ninja, is that uh, the eyes lack pupils, and this kind of led me to believe that these may be some kind of... And again, I've got no backstory or anything like that to go off of for these, but uh, the Red Ninjas are followers of Storm Shadow, but with the, the white eyes, it seems as though uh, they may be like some kind of an undead ninja warrior or demonically possessed or something, something like that. At least that's what I would like to think, because, you know, G.I. Joe always... Uh, threw in all of these paranormal and sci-fi and supernatural elements into uh, into their mythos. Uh, the Red Ninja comes with uh, quite an assortment of weaponry. Uh, all of these were featured with the Deluxe Edition Snake Eyes, which was actually the first classified figure that was released. And he does have a backpack, even though you can't see it here in the package. I believe he uh, may be wearing that. It may be attached to the figure. But anyway, uh, the uh, the backpack he comes with allows you to store all of the uh, the weapons and accessories on it, much like uh, the one here with Gun Ho. Uh, let's see, Cobra Commander. Uh, he does have a scabbard for his uh, Cobra sword here, which features a Cobra on the handle. He does have a scabbard for that, but I don't think that he has a holster for the pistol. Let's take a look. No, he does not. He does not feature a holster for the pistol. There's uh, his weird time travel flintlock. But you have the web gear, is what I'll call it, uh, items here for uh, for weapons storage and whatnot for the uh, for the Red Ninja. This is a good looking figure. It reminds me a lot in color of what Night Creepers looked like. The '90s figure, I think it was '90s, it might have been like '88. 88, 89, something like that. I'd have to look it up. But the Night Creeper figure, uh, he reminds me a lot of Night Creeper, like a like a Persian assassin of sorts. But he is supposed to be a ninja and a follower of Storm Shadow. And the Storm Shadow figure that they released looks very similar to this as well, except he is the Arctic Storm Shadow or Ninja Force Storm Shadow, uh, based, based off of the Ninja Force Storm Shadow. And uh, his his outfit and whatnot looks very similar to this. Which I think it's cool. It makes it, you know, they're, they're supposed to be his followers. So there you have that. And again, we'll come back just for the sake of doing it. The the pimp daddy Destro with the gold head. Uh, now there was a mold variation between 
early release and later release of the V1 Destro, which featured a, uh, a circle on his head. And I guess this is the this is from the revised mold that does not feature that circle. The first uh, the first Destro fi figure actually does feature that circle. I just wanted to put these two side by side. You have the Cobra Island Trooper and Cobra Commander, and uh, you can see that the blue plastic they're molded in it looks very very similar. It might not be an exact match. But I like the fact that they did that. I always thought that it was so weird that the 80s figures, you had Cobra Commander, who was a light blue, and you had the, uh, the Cobra Trooper, who was a dark blue. Just to kind of show that here, I have the Cobra Officer from 1982. That's a straight-arm Cobra Officer. And I have the uh, <laughs> Mickey Mouse Cobra Commander here with his, uh, his little weird... Uh, first edition logo from 1982 the mail order exclusive uh this is what they looked like you had the light blue cobra commander and the dark blue uh troopers and officers so we're also going to see that again whenever the regal cobra commander comes into play you'll have the light blue figure uh, for Cobra Commander, and you'll have this dark blue for the Cobra Troopers. Now, uh, in Wave 3, they have released Cobra Troopers again. That will not be the uh, the Cobra Island exclusive. These are available. You can order these by the case from Big Bad Toy Store and a bunch of other online retailers, and you could order like one per customer on uh, Hasbro Pulse, but it was not an exclusive. It's a mass-produced figure. It will not have the Cobra Island logo or uh, this background. The background, uh, I'm assuming, will be different for that figure. Uh, the artwork, however, is the same, and uh, the regular production version will not come with the armband or the goggles, I believe that it also comes with uh, less accessories. I believe that it's missing this rifle. It will still come with a rifle and at least one handgun, I believe, and uh, the knife. So, and again, these are all Nerf blasters and whatnot. All right, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this little look here at the Classified Wave 2 figures. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Click on that notification bell so that you'll receive a notification in YouTube whenever I do post a new video. And, um, uh, yo, Joe!